Welcome back, everyone, for another deep dive. Oh, this huh. time we're going to explore something you might not associate with cutting-edge technology. Okay. Chickens. Uh -huh. More specifically, how infrared radiation is being used to make the poultry industry more efficient. And believe it or not, more humane. It's true. We're going to dig into all the fascinating details from a recent academic review in Animals Journal. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Infrared. Isn't that just about heat lamps? Well... We get this. It's being used for everything from beak trimming to disease detection. I'm already intrigued. Yeah. Where do we even begin? Let's start with the basics. Infrared, or IR, is a type of light we can't see, but we can feel it as heat. Think about that warmth you feel on a sunny day that's infrared radiation. You're telling me there's invisible light all around us. Yeah. That's pretty wild. It is. And what's even more fascinating is that this invisible light can actually impact living things at a cellular level. Okay, hold on. You're saying this light we can't even see can affect tiny cells in our bodies. Right. How does that even work? Well, think of it this way. Our cells are like tiny factories constantly buzzing with activity. They need energy to function. And one of the key sources of that energy is a molecule called ATP. What's remarkable is that IR radiation, specifically a type called far infrared, can actually boost ATP production in cells. So it's like IR is giving these cells a little energy boost. Exactly. And that's just the beginning. IR can also influence cell signaling, which is essentially how cells communicate with each other. It's like a complex network of messages that keeps everything running smoothly. This is blowing my mind. So this invisible light is not only giving cells an energy boost, but also helping them talk to each other. Precisely. And that's why IR has such diverse applications, even in something like raising chickens. Okay, so let's get into that. I'm still stuck on the idea of heat lamps. What else is IR being used for in the poultry world? Well, one prominent example is beak trimming. It's a common practice to prevent birds from pecking and injuring each other. But traditional methods like using a hot blade can be pretty stressful and painful for the birds. That makes sense. I mean, no one wants to be subjected to something like that. Exactly. But with IR beak trimming, it's a much different story. The procedure is less painful, causes less stress, and the birds recover much faster. Okay, but what makes IR trimming so much better? Is it just a different heat source? It's more than that. You see, with hot blade trimming, the birds often develop these painful neuromas, which are basically bundles of nerve tissue at the site of the cut. But with IR trimming, this doesn't happen. Studies have shown that the treated tissue heals much cleaner without those painful nerve bundles forming. Wow, that's a huge difference. So IR is not just about heat. It's actually interacting with the tissue in a way that promotes better healing. Precisely. And that's just one example of how IR is being used to improve animal welfare in the poultry industry. This is incredible. Okay, so we've got heat lamps and beak trimming. What other surprises does IR have in store for us? Well, have you ever seen those thermal imaging cameras firefighters use to see through smoke? Yeah, those are pretty cool. Well, a similar technology called IR thermography is being used in poultry farming. Basically, they use special cameras that can detect tiny temperature differences, which can help identify sick birds before they even show any visible symptoms. Wait, seriously? So they can tell if a chicken is getting sick just by looking at its temperature? Exactly. You see, when a bird is fighting off an infection or dealing with an injury, its body temperature changes slightly. And these IR cameras are so sensitive, they can pick up on those subtle changes, alerting farmers to potential problems early on. That's amazing. It's like they're giving the birds a high-tech health check. And what about keeping the whole flock comfortable? That's where it gets even more interesting. IR thermography can also be used to assess the overall thermal comfort of the poultry house. They can pinpoint areas that are too hot or too cold and make adjustments to ensure the birds are living in an optimal environment. So IR isn't just about individual birds, it's about managing the entire flock's well-being. Absolutely. And we haven't even touched on things like IR spectroscopy and how it's revolutionizing feed analysis. Whoa, hold on. We're just getting started. IR spectroscopy. That sounds pretty intense. What's that all about? It might sound intimidating, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Think of it like this. Every material absorbs and reflects light differently. Right? And like how a black shirt absorbs more heat than a white one. Exactly. Well, IR spectroscopy takes advantage of that principle, but uses infrared light instead of visible light. By shining IR light on something like chicken feed and analyzing how it's absorbed, we can determine its composition. So they can figure out what's in the feed just by using light. What kind of things can they learn? They can determine the protein, fat, and moisture content, which is crucial for ensuring the birds are getting the optimal nutrition. That's cool. But why is that such a big deal? Couldn't they just look at the ingredients list on the feed bag? 
You'd think so, but it's not always that simple. The actual composition of feed can vary depending on factors like storage conditions and the quality of the ingredients. With IR spectroscopy, fee farmers can get a real-time snapshot of what's actually in the feed, allowing them to make adjustments as needed. So it's like a quality control check for chicken dinner. Exactly. And this kind of precision not only benefits the birds, but also helps reduce waste and makes the whole operation more efficient. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Less waste means less money spent on feed, and healthier chickens mean more profits. It's a win-win. Precisely. And we're just scratching the surface here. IR is also making its way into computer vision systems for poultry. Wait, hold on. Are you telling me they're using IR to watch chickens? Like Big Brother for birds? In a way, yes. But instead of surveillance, think of it more like a high-tech health and welfare monitoring system. By combining IR imaging with computer vision algorithms, farmers can do some pretty amazing things. Like what? Give me some examples. For starters, they can automatically track and count birds, which is particularly useful in large operations. They can also detect sick or injured birds much earlier than humans could, potentially preventing outbreaks and improving overall flock health. That's amazing. So it's like having an extra set of eyes or maybe even a whole team of virtual veterinarians keeping watch over the flock. That's a great analogy. And it goes beyond just health. They can also monitor activity levels and behavior patterns, giving insights into the bird's overall well-being. Wow, this is all pretty incredible. But I have to admit, it's a lot to take in. What's the big takeaway here? Why should all this IR stuff matter to someone who's not a chicken farmer? That's a fair question. <sighs> The key takeaway is that IR isn't just some niche technology. It's actually playing a crucial role in shaping a more sustainable, efficient, and humane food system. Okay, I'm starting to see the bigger picture now. More efficient farming means less waste and lower costs, and healthier birds mean a safer and more abundant food supply. Exactly. And it all circles back to this invisible light that we're only beginning to understand the full potential of. But we've covered a lot of ground here. Let's take a moment to recap some of the key benefits of using IR in poultry farming. Yeah, let's break it down. We started with IR as a simple heat source, but it turns out it's so much more than that. Right. One of the most significant benefits is improved growth performance. Studies have shown that exposing birds to far infrared radiation can actually boost their growth rates and feed efficiency. So they grow bigger and faster while eating less. That sounds like a dream come true for any farmer. Exactly. And this isn't just about profits. More efficient farming practices mean we can produce more food with fewer resources, which is crucial for feeding a growing global population. That's a really important point. And what about food safety? Does IR have a role to play there as well? Absolutely. Remember, IR spectroscopy. Well, it's not just for analyzing feed. It can also be used to assess the quality of poultry meat. For instance, it can detect something called woody breast, which is a muscle condition that makes the meat tough and unappetizing. Oh yeah, I've had chicken like that before. It's like trying to chew on rubber. <laughs> Not exactly a pleasant dining experience. Exactly. But with IR technology, farmers can identify and remove affected birds, ensuring that only high quality meat reaches consumers. That's reassuring. So IR is helping to ensure both the quantity and the quality of our food supply. Pretty impressive for invisible light. And let's not forget about animal welfare. We already talked about IR beak trimming as a more humane alternative to traditional methods. Right, that was game changer. But it goes beyond beak trimming. Remember how IR thermography can be used to monitor the temperature of individual birds? Well, it can also be used to assess the overall thermal comfort of the entire poultry house. So they can make sure the birds aren't too hot or too cold? That's pretty important for their well-being. Absolutely. It's all about creating an optimal environment where the birds can thrive. And IR technology is giving farmers the tools to do just that. This is all fascinating. But in the research, I also read something about how IR can help with toxic gas levels in poultry houses. Is that right? You're absolutely right. This is one of the more surprising findings. Studies have shown that exposing poultry houses to IR can actually help reduce the levels of harmful gases like ammonia and carbon dioxide. That's incredible. Why is that? Does IR somehow neutralize those gases? It's not fully understood yet, but there are a couple of theories. Some researchers believe that IR might alter the chemical reactions that produce those gases in the first place. Others think that IR might stimulate the growth of certain microbes that help break down those harmful compounds. So IR is either preventing those gases from forming or helping to clean them up. That's a pretty neat trick. It is, and this has implications for both the birds and the people who work in those facilities. Reducing those toxic gases improves air quality, which benefits everyone's health. 
Makes sense. So IR is playing a role in worker safety too. It's amazing how one technology can have so many positive ripple effects. And there's even more. Some preliminary research suggests that exposure to IR might actually boost the immune systems of chickens. Seriously. Invisible light is boosting their immune systems. How is that even possible? It's still early days, but researchers believe it might have something to do with the gut microbiota. Wait, the gut microbiota? You mean those trillions of bacteria that live in our intestines? I thought those are just for digestion. They are crucial for digestion, but they also play a critical role in our immune system. And it turns out that IR might be able to influence the composition and activity of those gut microbes, potentially leading to a stronger immune response. That's wild. So IR is like a secret weapon for boosting chicken immunity. It's an area of active research, but the initial findings are definitely exciting. Imagine if we could raise healthier, more disease-resistant chickens without relying on antibiotics. That would be a game changer. Less reliance on antibiotics would be better for the environment and for human health, too. It's like IR is solving multiple problems at once. And that brings us to the truly mind-boggling part. All of this, the efficiency gains, the food safety improvements, the animal welfare advancements, it all stems from this invisible light that we're only beginning to understand. It's like we've been living in a world of black and white, and now we're suddenly seeing all these vibrant colors we never knew existed. That's a fantastic way to put it. And the beauty of it is we're just at the beginning of exploring this spectrum of possibilities. Okay, I'm going to need a minute to process all this amazing information. But before we wrap up, I want to make sure our listeners walk away with the key takeaways. Yeah, so what are the big takeaways here? Well, I think the main thing is that IR is helping us move towards more sustainable and humane way to produce the food that we eat. Right. It's like this invisible force is working behind the scenes to improve things for everyone involved, the chickens, the farmers, and ultimately the consumers. Absolutely. And it all comes back to this amazing technology that's allowing us to see and understand the world in a whole new way. It really makes you wonder what other applications are out there. I mean, if IR can do all this in poultry, what about other areas of agriculture? Oh, that's a great question. There's so much potential for IR to be used in other areas of farming. You know, things like increasing crop yields or even managing pests and diseases. It's like we've just scratched the surface of what IR can do. Exactly. And I think that's what makes this so exciting. There's a whole world of possibilities waiting to be explored. Well, on that note, I want to thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the world of IR in poultry. It's been a fascinating journey, and I hope our listeners have learned a thing or two about this incredible technology. It's been a pleasure. And remember, keep exploring and keep asking questions. The world is full of amazing things just waiting to be discovered.